Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record is the story of the little match girl from 1978. So let's get started. Maybe I'll walk 
down the street. It looks like a lot of people down there. Down the street went little Beth. The snow was coming down much heavier, and the little mash girl stopped on the street. An old man with a kind face was waiting for a horse-drawn carriage. He looked at the little girl. Uh, what is that? child like you doing out on a cold night like this. Trying to sell my matches, sir. Oh, they look old. Go home. You, you will free standing out here. I can't. I'm trying to make this a nice Christmas for Hazel and Albert. Well, here's a copper, and take care, little one. And this is my carriage. You are welcome to come with me. No, thank you, sir. I'll stay right here. I already have two coppers, and no one has taken any of my matches yet. Matches for sale. Merry Christmas. Look at that little girl. I wonder if she has any money. Hey, you! Did you call me? Do you have any money? I have been very lucky. I have two coppers, and I have only been here a little while. I could use two coppers. Give them to me. They are mine. What are you going to do? <laughs> you shouldn't fight with little girls. You are a bully. Yeah. The boy was bigger than Beth, and of course, much stronger. He tripped her and stole the two coppers she had earned. Now I have nothing. Farther and farther, Beth walked in the snow. Soon she turned around and thought, I've never been in this part of the city. I think I'm lost. The buildings are so big and tall. Matches for sale. Who will buy matches for a nice warm fire? The little girl wandered up and down the cold streets. Little did she know that little beady eyes were watching her. Following her were Jesse and Mortimer Wigglex, two of the most unsavory people ever to walk the streets of the city. like any old kid to me. Um, she looks like she's all thousand and all. You know, she does look cold. What's that to us? I think she's perfect for us to take under our wing. What do you mean, wing? We aren't birds. I have no wings. Oh, it's just an expression. Oh, it is? Oh, what's an expression? Oh, look at her. If we take her with us and put her in the right place asking for money, Nobody would be able to resist throwing a few pennies to earth. I think she would get all the money, not us. And we would take the money they gave her and we would keep it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> but uh, how are we going to get the little girl to come with us? I'll leave it to own Jessie. I'm going over to her. And remember, don't you dare say a word. You probably spoil everything. I'll keep my mouth shut tight. So Jesse and Mortimer adjusted their coats and crossed the busy street. When they got near little Beth, Jesse pretended that she was crying. <laughs> What's the matter, Jesse? You're crying. How did I tell you to be quiet? It's part of the act. I didn't know that. You didn't know that when I was a great actress, I was a little girl, did you? You were? Well, if I was. That was a long, long time ago. <laughs> I'll be quiet. Here my girl. Okay. 
did. I'm your Uncle Mortimer. I have an aunt and an uncle. I'm so happy. Now, dear, now that we have met, let us go on. Where to? Well, I got off the carriage over there. We will ride to the next city. It is only a few hours away. We got work to do. We have a lot to do before Christmas. All right, I'll come with you. But I'll have to stop by Hazel's and tell her that I have found my aunt Knuckle, whom I never knew that I had. Uh, we don't have time to stop by anyone's house. But Hazel will worry. And we'll stop by Tamari. We'll get going now. All right, Auntie Jessie. Uh, stop to smart kid, a child. You learn fast. Learn what? The ropes. Ropes? I don't understand. You will, kid. <laughs> you will. So little Beth walked down the road, holding hands with Jessie and Mortimer. Soon they were in front of the carriage. The carriage was very old and creaky. The poor horse looked so tired that it seemed his next step would be his last. In you go, dear. Thank you. We're off to fame and fortune. Fame? Yeah, yeah, fame, that's why. And fortune? Are we rich? Well, dear. If you do everything I'd say, maybe you could become a great actress. Really? What do I have to do? Well, all you have to do is to look as poor as you are and stay in the doorway and ask for some money for food. Is that all? Should be easy for you. We'll try you out in the next city and see how good you are. I'll try. Oh, you want to spoil the child, eh? Oh, 
glad we got that all straightened up. But what are you doing here? I'm staying with a very nice man and his family. Oh, oh boy, looks like he must be rich. I think he is. Would you like to see the inside of the house? I don't mind if we do. Up the stairs that led to the house went Jesse and Mortimer, following little Bess. She opened the front door, and when the two of them saw the inside of the house, all they could say was... Oh! I don't believe it! My goodness, look at all this stuff! Oh, it must be worth a fortune! Might be! Let's take some of it! They won't miss it! What are you doing? Just taking some of this stuff! They won't even know it's gone! Some of that, some of that, yeah. Yeah. please don't. Yeah. They were so busy that they didn't Not notice the man, yeah. his yeah. wife, and daughter yeah. returning yeah. home. Yeah. The family opened the door and could not believe their eyes. There were Jesse and Mortimer moving everything in sight. And there was little Beth holding things too. What is happening? Ooh, you're trying to rob us, and you little girl. Did you do this after we were so nice to you? I think we'd better get out of here. Nice to meet you. Uh, goodbye. Come on. You better come along too, care. You'll end up in jail. Out of the house ran Mortimer and Jesse and Beth. Only Beth ran off in a different direction. Soon she was all alone. I'll never find my way home. She sat down on the street corner and lit a match to keep herself warm. It warmed her little hands. She remembered how her granny had said to her, Remember, stay warm on your way to school. It would not do to have you catch cold. Then she huddled herself together a little more. I'm so cold. Nobody cares for me. I have no one to the on. I'll strike another match. As she did, the match gleamed so brightly that it looked like a giant fireplace. So very warm. Oh, what a beautiful fireplace. It looks like the one in my own house. But the fire on the match soon burned out, and she was alone in the cold. I had better walk around. Match is for sale. Nobody wants any. Sir, sir, would you like to buy a match to make a fire? What could one match do? No, I don't need your match. I'll strike just one more. So she struck it, and when it burned, it looked like a nice Christmas dinner. A roast goose and all the trimming. Just like the dinners Granny used to make. Soon the match burned out and all vanished. Beth looked down. She only had one match left. I'd better not use this one. I'll save it. I'll stay warm with it. The poor girl sat all huddled on the corner, getting colder and colder. I have to strike my, my last match. I have to get warmer. She struck it, and it glowed brightly. This time it took the form of the one person she really loved more than anybody else in the world. Granny, it's you. I missed you so much. And I missed but we will be together again, and you will never be cold or lonely again. I have no one, Granny. I love you. I love you. Oh, it's cold. The last match burned out, and all was quiet. It was very cold. In the morning, they found the little match girl frozen, with a smile on her face, and the mark of a kiss on her forehead. Little Beth was alone no more. Beth had found someone. Jesse and Mortimer, when they read about what had happened, cried. And so did the man and his family, and Hazel and Albert. They never forgot the little match girl who had touched all of them. So that was the story of The Little Massacre from 1978. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next record will be... The Tenor Box.